having a look at uh, the flowchart for the linear search algorithm. So what we've got here, we've got this idea of start, then we've got this IDX, which uh, might confuse you a little bit. It's basically shorthand for index. That's all it is, basically shorthand for index. So the index is kind of set to zero. So when you're in your for loop or wherever you are, the index is set to zero. And then you're gonna check this more means, okay, have we items in the list that we can check against? Have we items? If we don't, return minus one, nothing found, nothing to compare against. Or as we'll see, if we have more, okay, go down and check. Have we a match? If we have a match, return the index of where you found the item. But if you don't have a match, increment the index by one and go back and check if you have more items to compare against. Yes, you have. So basically here you're kind of saying, are you um, are you still less than the length of the, the list when you're checking here? And yes, you are. Are you finding a match? No, you're not. Going around looping around. If you don't find a match, and if you never find a match, you're going to finish up with no more things to compare against, and you're going to return minus one. But if you do find a match, you're going to return the index of, of the, or the index position of where you found the match. And uh, that's the flowchart gone through easy peasy.